In this tutorial, I will teach you how to use the Flask framework in Python to create a REST API. Like and subscribe, and if you have anything to say, just leave it in the comment section. Before we get into the code, let's download Python. First, go to python.org and go to the download section. You should see a button that says Python 3.11.5. Once it's done downloading, open it and go to the download instructions. If you want to find the specific download that you want, just go to the downloads page and you should see all of them right there. Once you've installed Python, create a new folder and open it in VS Code. Once that's done, go over to the GitHub in the link in the description. Open data.json, download the raw file, and drag it into the VS Code editor. Once you have the data.json file in your own directory, close it. Now open up the terminal and run pip install flask. If you don't have the pip CLI and you don't know how to download it, the GitHub in the description has the documentation for the installation of the pip CLI. Just follow it and then follow through the video after you've installed it. Now close the terminal after you've installed Flask and create a new file called main.py. First, let's import the JSON and the Flask package. Next, let's initialize a new Flask app by providing the Flask function with the module's name. Before we set up the endpoints for the REST API, let's set up some helper functions to help retrieve the data from the data.json and process it correctly. First, let's create a get users function that retrieves the full data payload from the data.json. Then create a get user function which takes in a user index and finds an item in the JSON data that correlates with the user index. After that, we create a get user param function that returns a specific parameter on the user object on a specific user. Next, create a get to do function. This function finds a to do in a user object. Next, create a get to do param method that gets a parameter from a to do and returns it. Finally, just call the app.run. Now let's create the endpoints for the REST API. To define an endpoint, we just wrap a function with the decorator at app.route. Because we already created the helper functions, all that these endpoint functions are going to do is just return what the helper function returns. Now create a send users function, a send users by ID function, a send user param function, send to do function, and send to do param function. These will be the endpoints for our REST API. Once you're done creating all the endpoint functions, close the file and open up the terminal. Once the terminal is open, run python3 main.py. It should give you an error. Let's go back to the main.py and fix the error. Just add the closing angle bracket to the app.route function. Now run python3 main.py. Once it's done loading, click on the link. Once it's open, you should see a big JSON blob. Now open up the search bar and add zero to the end of the URL. You should see the JSON data for one specific user. Let's go back to the search bar and add in slash birthday. You should see the text of a date. Let's go back to the route that displayed the user data and go to the search bar and add slash email. It should give you an email. Once you have confirmed it, go to slash ID. Finally, let's go to slash to do's and you should see the full to do list for the specific user. To open one of these to do's, just add the index of it. To see the parameter, just type in the name of the parameter that you want to see. For example, if you want to see the ID of the parameter, just have the, Z, the index of the parameter and the name of the parameter. Thank you for watching my video and I hope it served you well. Like, subscribe and comment.